So particle physicists investigate what are the most fundamental building blocks you can make the universe out of. And currently, this is our list, if you like, of the cosmic Lego that you can build the universe from. And it's divided into two main sorts of particles. The matter particles over here, which build up and give you structure. So they assemble like bricks. And the force particles, which behave differently and tend to actually not make structure at all. Supersymmetry is a theory in which all the particles that we've already found have a particle of different types. So all the matter particles have a force partner, and all the force particles have a matter partner. And the reason that supersymmetry is a theory that people like, or theoretical physicists like, is that when you calculate how likely a process is to happen, you have to consider all the possible ways in which it can happen. And sometimes some of those paths make it much quicker. So if you've got lots of different routes for getting from one place to another, the process can go much quicker. And sometimes they, the routes sort of get in each other's way. It's a bit like roads that are crossing. Now, one of the things we need in a theory is, in fact, that some of these different paths cancel each other out. And matter particles cancel out force particles. So supersymmetry is a really nice theory where everything's got a partner. And it works beautifully with one small problem, which is, as, as so far, we haven't discovered any of the supersymmetric particles, although we're hoping they might turn up at the LHC. But if you're an optimist, like one of my former colleagues, you say, well, actually, it's a theory in which we've already seen half the particles and we're just waiting to find the other half. <laughs>